we will talk about applications, structural precast. This is a project that we did for Mandawi. Uh, it's actually a simple school building, but they decide to build it very quickly so that they can use it for COVID. So this was done in a very short span of time. This is how it's, how it's done. This is structural precast. Okay. Another is, this one is, uh, uh, we, I think we built, this is a library, a small library. We, we built this for, for, uh, for CENCOM, Central Command. That is also a precast. It's a small library. And this is a, we have a, we have a project in Pinamongahan, and beside it is a small chapel, dilapidate, dilapidated chapel. And, and unfortunately, our construction was a little bit high, and every time it rains, all the water goes to the little chapel. And it's all dilapidated, it's broken and everything. So I have three manangs approach me. Sir, can you help us? I said, what, what's your problem? He said, our chapel is falling down. So what do you want me to do? He said, filling materials lang. I said, okay. But they did not know that I decided to donate the chapel. So I said, clear everything. So the next transit mixer came. We did the foundation work. And in three hours' time, that chapel is standing. And this is how it looks today if you go there. All right? Another uh, project, this is one of the early projects that I have. This is Toscania. This is in Guadalupe. That is 100% precast. We have hybrid system for columns and beams, and then precast slab, precast wall. We will talk about architectural precast. Now, this building, this is architectural precast, meaning the precast has, is just to cover the whole structure. This building. And this is how it was done. It is a combination with steel structure and concrete panel. Now, there is this product that we have, it's lightweight concrete panel. This has a standard width of 0.6. Height variable. You can use this on a small project. This is an insulated panel in itself. It has a very high fire rating. So there, some people use this in, a, in, 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 in their in the res residential uh, project. So it is good. This, is, this one, you don't need a crane. It, it's, it's light. The whole panel, you throw it on, 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 on water, it will float. Okay? I would like to share this. Uh, 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 this is a housing project that we have. Uh, this is located in Lorega. You can see this a anytime you can drop by. This is a project that we have and for socialized housing. This is a five-story tenement housing that we build. What you can see there, those columns are precast column, hybrid. And then after second level, everything is load-bearing wall. There is no more column, there is no more beams. Those panels are very strong. That's a, that is 5,000 PSI strength. As you will notice, the whole project, this is 100 units apartment or houses, whatever. There are only 12 people. There are only 12 people working there. Most of it are all equipment, okay? 
That is the biggest difference between conventional construction and precast. Those ribs that you see, the little ribs, horizontal ribs, they act as beam. Vertical ribs, they act as small column. Okay? This project is almost done. We are on the finishing stage now. Those are precast slab. That's it. Remember, we were talking about wastage. You don't see anything here. What we deliver, install, that's it. No more, no less. That is how it looks like right now. In fact, it's, it's already done. Those big openings are balconies. So there's a sliding, big sliding door on it. I would like to show you this because this is where you can see the, the, the hybrid uh, columns and beams, you see? And that is a mixture also, steel decking. Hybrid beam, put steel decking, put rebars, concrete. That's it. Combination. So it is not necessary that you must have a, a complete pre, precast. We can combine whatever. Not a problem. Right? Now the next question is, what is the future of precast? Is there a future of precast? Do we need precast? Is it important to, the, to our industry? Now, I cannot talk about future of precast if I don't mention the following. Self-compacting concrete. This is the latest. And a while ago, it flows like water. So, you don't need to vibrate this. It is self-leveling already. And the more rebars you have, you don't need to worry. There is no honeycomb. It will not happen. It's very nice. It's very beautiful. This, 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 this is something very new. 30 years ago, when I started precast, we don't have this. Today, this is something that we can use. Another thing is that probably you, not everybody, uh, I'm sure you heard about it, but not everybody would be concerned on this, is the fiber reinforced concrete. Fiber reinforced concrete is, is also very useful for precast since we're doing small item, big item. This one will prevent crack. It is very useful. From, from, uh, from, uh, uh, glass fiber, the, a while ago we show you something that you can, what you can do for, for your facade, we use this, right? And the biggest and the most beautiful thing that ever invented today is graphene reinforced concrete. This is a nanotechnology, very thin, very strong, 200 times better, stronger than, than, than steel. So with this, we can do precast very thin. I haven't tried it yet, but I would love to try it. Should there be, if there is a market for it, I would like to use it. And that is what you can use graphene from, to health, construction, solar, even telephone. Uh, uh, Samsung already tried using it. They, they, they claim it it is 45%, it can store 45% more of, 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 uh, of uh, battery 
and energy, and you can fully charge in 12 minutes your cell phone. So we are, next we would like to, to, to have the Q&A. So I would like to answer all your questions.